Well, hello, my fabulous friends. Today, we're going to use another new watercolor technique. Uh, it's like the atmospheric look, so we're pulling and taking away paint. We're doing wet on wet, but we're also taking away paint and then adding paint to it. Uh, I go over this step by step. I'm basically going to show you how to do this one. I did this one myself on my own, and this one I'll show you a little demo um, in this in this in this tutorial how I did this. It's, it's going to be sped up though. But I go over this one to step by step. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, please check out my Patreon uh, right here. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays that are not on YouTube, that are real-time videos also. And soon I'm going to be adding on the live stream, um, top tier, once a month, where people can ask questions. And so if you're on the top tier, the, that's coming up soon. Um, okay, and uh, that's it. So let's get painting with some watercolor techniques. Okay guys, so here's a, just a really quick, as you can see, very speedy um, demonstration of how we're going to do this technique. I'm just showing you right up front, um, me doing this with some flowers. I'm doing some sunflowers in this atmospheric, wet on wet, removing paint, putting on paint technique that we're going to be doing with lemons. So this is just the beginning of me doing it, and then um, we're going to get into the lemon tutorial right after this but you see i'm just painting down the flowers first you know um with a i'm using my velvet touch series brush uh number eight i'm putting in the sunflowers and i'm adding in the center of the flowers and i'll be adding in the stems next and then what i'm going to do is start pushing the paint around and then removing paint and adding paint so as you can see i'm using this green in here and I'm putting the stems in. All of this right now is just painting in the actual flowers themselves. And this is using my Velvet Touch Series brush like I said. Now I'm going to be switching over to my Princeton Neptune number 12 brush and now I'm going to add water to the edges of the sunflowers you see here and removing and then adding paint and adding more water and removing and adding paint. So I'm adding paint and adding water, pushing the paint around, adding some more sunflowers and then I'm just going to go back in and keep going in and adding and removing paint, adding and removing paint. And I'll be removing it by taking a clean brush, putting on the water on it, and then tapping on the paper towel and going back and forth. So you can see how the sunflowers bled out a lot. And now I'm adding in concentrated, thicker, darker paint, and then removing it again. See, removing it, touching the paper towel, removing it, paper towel, removing it, paper towel. So it's this constant balance dance of removing, adding, removing, adding, removing, adding to create this really atmospheric kind of really arethal kind of different technique, you know, wet on wet um, with watercolor. It just has a nice, cool, abstract look to it. And if you're interested in this, just continue to watch the tutorial and you'll see I'm going to do a real time lemon um, tutorial and uh, demonstrating how I do this how you can create these kind of cool effects. You can see a lemon that I did earlier on that upper left-hand corner. Well, this time we're gonna do one that has three lemons and a couple of flowers using some white gouache. So I hope you guys enjoy this fun little demonstration <laughs> before we head into our fun little lemon tutorial. Okay guys, first I'm gonna go over my supplies. I just have a piece of Arch 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I think this is about a, like a, I don't know, a six by eight piece. I didn't really measure it. Uh, my palette, I go over my paints as I use them. Um, they're always in the description box. Brushes I'll be working with today. I have um, a Princeton Neptune number 12, a Princeton Velvet Touch series number eight, and there's just this really small Princeton um, wash 3 8 inch flat brush. Paper towels, you're gonna need a lot of paper towels for this. Um, a lot of, and then water jars. I have like three or four of them up here. So this whole technique is like painting wet and wet and pulling off paint um, to create this like atmospheric kind of look. You're painting it down, then you're pulling the paint away and you're washing it in. It's 
it's kind of fun and it's a good thing to play around. I would play around with this with scraps and it really needs to be on like a really good paper like this Arsh wet and wet, pa wet um, excuse me, 100% cotton cold pressed paper because it will create the better wet and wet techniques for these. So I played around with, um, I showed you in, in the video, uh, I'll just show you like a, a quick, you know, little clip of me painting this one. Um, I painted this one for a little, uh, just a little a demo for myself and we'll go and do into the lemon one. You can draw the lemons if you want to. I mean, basically, you know, you're doing a lemon shape here, right? I particularly don't think you should draw it because we're gonna be doing this taking away, pulling kind of thing. Maybe on this one, I'll do three lemons. I'll just kind of figure out I'm gonna have them over here. So we're gonna start by painting the lemons, right? And then painting the color behind it and wrap around it and then pulling it away, adding and pulling and adding. So let's just get the lemons themselves. Cabin Yellow Deep I have here. I have some uh, brilliant orange over here. I'm just gonna be playing with this color too, adding in some of that, getting it really wet. Um, I'm gonna get some greens ready too. I have my peacock blue here, right? Kind of wanna get some colors ready to go. Uh, I'll add my cabin yellow deep to that, get a nice pretty green. I'll make another green over here, adding in some Prussian blue to make it darker. And a little burnt umber. And then I'm gonna use the burnt umber itself. Let's get that wet. So I've got kind of the paints ready to go, right? So this technique, it takes time to get used to it, but like when it, there's no right and wrong. And like, it's just so much fun to do and play around when you have this really kind of cool look to it. So got the yellow here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this brown to it just to dull it down a bit. So a lemon, you know, you're painting the typical oval kind of shape with a little point in the end. I'm leaving a little white halo here. And you're gonna have to kind of work a little fast. So get your lemon here, get your lemon here, right? It could be anything, it could be flowers and lemons. I mean, I'm just showing you lemons. I'd like to working with the lemons. And I'll paint another one here. I did two in the first one. Now, um, while it's still damp and wet, you can go in and add, so I'm adding a little bit deeper yellow a little bit of orange on the side here. Get a little deeper. Add some more color in here. All right. And then we're gonna take our brown. We're gonna add the stem. Minimal water on this one. See, I just grabbed that and put the stem in here. And then we're gonna add some leaves. So we've got the light green here. We put leaf like this. We'll add a leaf out coming out this way, whatnot, and we'll put one down in here. So this is where the kind of fun, crazy stuff kind of stops to happen. Okay, this pulling and taking away kind of technique. So now I'm just gonna take this Princeton 12 Neptune brush, I'm gonna get some water on it. And I'm just going to, I know this seems nuts, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put water next to the lemon. See we're doing that? It's kind of bleeding out a little bit here. A little bit here, right? We've already painted it. And we're gonna start to add, I've got some uh, turk peacock blue, looks like that green. Kind of just throwing it in here like that. Get some more water on your brush again. Here, I'm working kind of fast. I'm going around the lemon here. And we're just gonna push the paint like that. Push it out, right? Gonna be adding some green, just go like this really fast. Got that turquoise blue, adding in a green. You just going like this. Kind of crazy, right? Just taking your brush and you're pushing it out. Move these other way. See how they kind of get all bleed it out? They kind of have that atmosphere, the lemon. And then you can kind of remove some paint at the same time. Kind of push that lemon color out. See? Just go like that. You play around with it. Okay, now it's all wet, kind of, right? Add a little brown coming down here. So it kind of looks a little crazy, right? Woohoo, add some more of this blue. I'm gonna put some more blue out here. See, I've kind of washed away those leaves already. I'm washing here. 
You're like, why would you do that? Because you want this really abstract, atmospheric kind of look. This is where I get the little flat wash brush. So that I did all that, whooshing all the paint around. What happened to our leaves, right? And now you can go in with concentrated, which is minimal water. So take that peacock blue, a little bit of yellow, little brown. It's really concentrated. It's minimal water, right? Put some of that in here. Go back and put your leaf in. Still has that look. It's kind of like bleeding, atmospheric. Do this leaf too. And you can add some leaves down here, right? Take some other colors, like your brown. I'm watering it down a little bit. Let's go like that for the branch. Add another branch up here. I'm adding just deeper colors. So now I'm gonna take the blue. Maybe I'll add some Prussian blue to it. I'm gonna go behind the lemon like that. See that? I like I did this one. Add a little black or brown. I'm just kind of moving the brush out like that. Having fun back and forth. Right? Getting a deeper color behind the lemon. Grab some of this brown black and then down in here too. Some blue kind of just going right next to the lemon here and over in here. I know it's still kind of crazy and bleeding. <laughs> That's why you need a good amount of paper towels around. You're cleaning off your brush. You can add in more of this brown green color. Just right in here. Concentrated. See? Dark. Get that blue. Now where did our lemon go? It died. Clean up this brush. All right, we're gonna do lifting now. So you're gonna lift, push down the color, lift up, paper towel, down, lift up, paper towel, down, lift up, paper towel. Now you see how it gets that kind of like mystical, white, atmospheric, kind of ooh, mysterious. Same thing over here. And you can lift right here under where the leaf is. And you're tapping the paper towel. I know it seems kind of intuitive doing this craziness, but it's part of the fun, right? It's a lifting, kind of adding, kind of atmospheric experience. <laughs> and I can go back in, get rid of the green. This color. I don't want a green yellow. Okay. And I can go back in and add the yellow. You might say, well, why the hell would you want to do this? Because it has a, like a cool kind of look. I mean, that's the whole point, right? So you're playing around with adding and, and subtracting. You go back in, see this kind of atmospheric kind of look. Look at this pretty colored leaf. And I'll add a leaf back in there. And put one over in here. with this brush and back in over this one and you could add some like branch coming down here get this leaf deeper and darker that blue it just has this quality of mysteriousness to it. Do the same thing here. And I'll just play around with adding and subtracting. So I might want to go just add some fun little leaves here. You could add a flower, right? You've lost some of the, um, the lemon up in here. So we'll go back and add it. No big deal. Get some more of this yellow. Paint right over that. It might create a little bloom, so you might have to just paint over the whole thing. 
But this is one way to have some fun with watercolor. That's just, you know, here, see that? You can remove paint and it has this like cool translucent kind of look. I'm lifting it, paper towel, lifting it. I'm playing around with adding and subtracting. You can even do this with little lines, see? I'm making a little line. For the veins. Just lift, take, lift. This is lifting the paint. Just something to try. A new technique. I have a few floral ones like this, but I kind of like it. So you can also just take the paint if you want to make it really kind of atmospheric looking. Grab the water on my brush. Just go like that, right? Lifting. Just going across, see? Like a light source is just like shining across it. Just like that. See how cool that is? I'm standing up to see how if I like it or not. And you can go back in and add a little. So I'm saying you add, you subtract, you know, you're making it totally different and unique. You can go back in here and fix that little lemon shape. I've added the peacock blue. See, and just go back over like that. So I can remove some of that leaf again. This is just a pulling and removing and playing around with kind of picture. I think it's good to try different techniques. This might take a while for you to get. It's not easy in the beginning. I mean, I know I was struggling trying to figure out how to do this myself when I first started doing watercolor. But really, it's a matter of using some concentrated paint and then not, and then taking your brush, cleaning it off, and lifting the paint, you know? Don't go too crazy because the problem is then you, if your paper starts to peel up a little bit. You can go back in and add some actual painting technique here, adding in the veins. You can add back in the branch. Just another thing to try. I'm going to add some really, that's, that's black gouache. I like to add gouache. Go in and get that really deep color. Just kind of in one section. You can add some blue to that just to tone the black down a little bit. Woohoo! That's the peacock blue. It's pretty intense, right? I want you guys to like just learn to have some fun with uh, watercolor. Yeah, see, now it's gotten dark in that area. Like I said, don't lift up too much. Don't play around too much because then it gets, the paper gets all kind of teared apart a little bit. I'm going to add a little more of this orangey kind of yellow. But not too crazy. And I'll add the stem. See, so it's damp, it's bleeding a little bit, but it's not bleeding a lot. And you just have fun with this. And lifting, pulling. So you can go back in and lift up some more of this paint. It's nice to have a little skinny brush like this on the side. I just think it's fun to play like this. Again. Getting a leaf in there that we lost. Go down here and add some leaves. Put a little flower. Um, I have some white gouache here. So gouache is great. I always have it in my repertoire. I'm gonna do some gouache tutorials coming up. Um, just adding in another element. It's a wet base paint. They have acrylic gouache, which is more like acrylic paint, but I do the water-based 
whole blind gouache. So, and it's opaque. So I can put like a little flower. See, boom. And it will dry a little more translucent. Put another up here. The thicker the paint, the less it's gonna dry translucent. Like I said, just adding another element to your design. Put another one over here, peeking through. And you can have to brush and you just take your yellow watercolor, concentrated, no water really in it, and just put it a little center on your daisy. Voila. Now I know you guys are gonna yell at me and say, this wasn't that easy. Well, it's supposed to be kind of a learning thing. You're gonna have to just take your time doing it. I got the three brushes. Why I had the big brushes, you're moving that paint around next to it. The skinny one, the first skinny one, the, um, this 3 8 inch brush is fun. So I'm gonna go back in here, see, I'm gonna lift up. Just, look at that, little teeny. See, I'm just going back to the paper towel and taking up that paint. You just take your time with this. It's bleeding too much. You lift up some of that paint. Get those veins. All the fun you can have. <laughs> I know. I'm like losing up some of this on it and lemon there. But I think um, pretty much. I think I might put another daisy right here. I'm standing up and I'm like, you know what? I want one right here. It's good to step back from your work. When you're sitting down a lot, um, you can't see how it looks. You gotta step back. I'm adding a little white daisy here. The gouache. And I'll go and grab that little concentrated yellow. And look how cute that is. So this is just a cool new technique. I'm gonna show a couple of them on YouTube here with some florals and some roses and stuff. But I'm just, just practice on a small piece, you know, even smaller than this if you can. Um, putting You painted the lemons down with the stems and the leaves and then you kind of washed the water around it and added some water and you kind of push that paint around and you add it and you take it away and you add it and you take it away. And so you have this really cool kind of atmospheric looking um, design. That's what I'm saying, play with the watercolor, play with it. The, the, the more you play with it, the more kind of cool techniques you come up with. You can add some salt to it. You know, you could sprinkle, um, splatter some paint around this to make it your own. So I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Um, I have my Facebook business page that people tag some of the photographs on or, or Instagram, um, things like that. You know, you want me to look at it. I don't always comment on everything because I can't because I'm, <laughs> I'm busy, <laughs> but I try every now and then. Uh, but everyone else comments with each other, so which is kind of cool. Like a, you know, it's a uh, com community of people talking to each other about things. So I appreciate you guys coming so much to my channel. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button. And if you haven't su subscribed, please subscribe and check out my Patreon. It's a place people go to support my channel. I have exclusive tutorials, traceables, um, ad-free videos there, um, which I appreciate you guys being amazing patrons too. And then soon I'm going to be adding um, live stream like once a month on the top tier. And I think I will start that uh, June 5th, I think. So um, I'm going to put an announcement in about that. So take care, guys. I hope you have a great day. And just play. Have fun. Don't worry if it doesn't look the same. <laughs> you want to play. Pulling away paint, putting down paint. Have fun. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.